Things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. <laughs> Did you have something to say, youngster? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person back when I was young. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Huh. These old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa. But this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Hey, that's rude. And even if it was like that, it must be a very expensive bell, right, Granny? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This Granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us?
Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> It seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up. found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, 
Now, let me see. How did this opening work again? Oh dear. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, Hyman kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Neoa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Yeah. 